Well, we're up here on the Gold Coast for the Gold Coast 600, and it's not all about racing cars with a Holden racing team, and it's not even about going to the beaches. We're out here today with John Hart Technology and Bus Tech, who manufacture buses from the ground up right here in the Gold Coast. I'm here with Mark Cleave, who's the General Manager and Chief Engineer. Nice to meet you, Mark. Welcome. Tell us about what you do out here. We're basically Australia's largest chassis and bus manufacturer. We're producing 100% vehicles using 100% Australian uh, content. So it's employing a lot of people in the local industry and it's basically keeping Australia at the forefront of manufacturing. Building the vehicle up for the ground up to have it installing engines, gearboxes, all the electrical system. Uh, we're basically a, a large car manufacturer. Well, I love this engineering stuff, so let's get out in the factory and have a look how these buses are made. No problem, let's have a look. Here we are in the engineering shop, very similar to the one we have with the Holden Racing Team. It's how you start to simulate the finished product, isn't it? It's very important that you're using the latest technologies, and 3D obviously is the way to go um, in design. That we can now take these designs from the model to actually manufacture them ourselves. Once we've cleared the designs at this stage, each component's pre-programmed in the various software for the, the Mazak machines. You know, touch your button, it's on the machine, and it can be cut within minutes. That's incredible. I'm really keen to see how the ideas from the computer translate to the machines. Let's go out and have a look out there. Yeah, cool. So Mark, this machine behind me, the Optiflex, would be something that HRT would love. It's, it's a really cool laser cutter and here at Bustec they're utilising it really well, aren't they? Absolutely. Uh, the, this, this machine, the Mazak Optiflex uh, Nexus uh, two and a half kilowatt. Bustec are using this machine to produce a lot of the, the, the 2D sheet metal components that go into the space frame of the Bustec product. It's a very important part of this, this new technology process that they've introduced recently. This business is a, is a testament to Australian manufacturing and the engineering that goes in behind it. It's a very vertically integrated company that starts from the ground up and produces a world-class final product. Hi right, Mark, well, I'm really impressed by this machine. Tell us why you picked this particular one. This particular one was chosen. Most buses are about 12 and a half metres long. This gives us a 12 and a half metre raw material feed in. And when you're sitting in a bus the next time, this allows us to cut the side frame RHS. Um, it's a five axis machine as well, so we can get more complex geometry as we increase and change our designs in the future. So all the RHS long side components of the buses, it enables you to do both ends, all the cutting, get it prepared and ready to go straight in the bus. Straight in for welding. Also allows us to do a chassis component as well, but predominantly our side frames. So Mark, the capabilities of this machine are really quite incredible. Absolutely, Jack. Very sophisticated machine, tool, but capable of doing some fantastic work. Yeah, and their ability to run 12 plus metre lengths is ideal for what they're trying to achieve with the buses. Exactly. Yeah. Small components down to a couple of millimetres uh, in length, right up to 12 metres. So you imagine a bus, uh, there's components that could be you know, 12 metres or more. I don't think the V8 supercars have anything 12 metres in length, so we may not need this one down to the Holden Racing Team. Maybe not, but uh, a lot of the, as I said before, a lot of the components you have in a V8 supercar could be produced on a machine like this. Well, this is the part I really like. We've seen the drawing and the design phase, we've seen some of the manufacturing phase, and now this is where the buses really start to take shape, isn't it, on the, on the production line? Yeah, so from a pile of raw material, to producing the parts on the machine. This is where the magic happens and this is where the assembly starts. Producing large side frame structures, large chassis structures, bringing it all together and then proceeding up the line. And quality control right through the, 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 the build and production phase? Yeah, we have the five quality stars of bus tech. So at the end of the welding phase, that's the first quality check. And then there's another four quality checks throughout the, the build. So Mark, here we are in the finished product. And I've got to say, it's really cool to see the timeline from the start to the finish and what, what is the total build? I think you mentioned about 16 days to build this. Yeah we broke a record just before Christmas. Generally a bus is bet between 30 and 45 days but yeah on exception sometimes we have to speed it up and we prove that we can do it quickly. 15-16 days is the record. There's a lot of exciting opportunities coming up for bus tech and uh, your future is looking bright. I must congratulate you guys on such a great business right now back doorstep in Australia and fantastic products and thanks for showing us through today. You're more than welcome. Thank you.